All right. That small disaster has been diverted. We have a guest today. The disaster is, is my uh, new shoes have got mud on the bottom. It's a pink one, Mike. I'll check the video because I can't see. Anyway, I got to go. They're out picking pine cones and I got to go and get the girls some, uh, what the hell do they want? White birch or gray birch sticks. So we can take them off of the road down. Let me get you all hooked up. Let's get warmed up. I have the chainsaw and the pruners, and I see the boys are over at the camp next door. Okay, seatbelt. So, we got a rain coming today for the next couple of days. So, whatever we got to do, we got to do it now. Temperature's going to warm up today, too. It says 9. We'll see. It's minus one still. So we lit the fire because they'll be needing it when they get back. And hello, Rob Williams from Wales. We got quite a few f folks from uh, over at the British Isles watching after the Americans. That's good. Oh, there's a lot. I'm not going to cut these down. We're going to uh, get them off the side of the road. So first we're going to do the beaver run, and then we'll look for something to cut down on the way back. They only need to be about a oh, couple of inches thick, so we'll do that first. Make the run. Haven't been down here in a couple of days. I gotta turn the heat up. It's freaking freezing in here. Boom. Like that one there is not bad to take, but it's, uh, I'd have to cut that whole thing down just to take the top chunk out of it. So they want four sticks, and each one's got to be the length of my arm. Well, now. There'll be a bunch along here for sure. But first, we're going to check out and see what's happening in the, the fur section. Oh, there's lots. This whole thing's full of them here. And of course, I'll make sure that I have to get extra because we don't want the women fighting over sticks when I get back. There's a little bit of ice forming on there. Which is good. I 
think the beavers have been run off. At least this batch. So, Halloween, we didn't get anybody here for Halloween. I guess that's the reason why I couldn't find any candy. That kind of surprised me. Looking for candy the other day in the city, and uh, the way she had the, uh, she being the wife, had the grocery list, it was confusing. So, ended up with uh, no candy. <laughs> what can I say? Now, somebody was. Uh, remarked about the, the property that it's uh, really rectangular yes and the reason is as I explained to him but I'll explain to everybody the uh, system of land came from France and what happened was is when they came here in eastern Canada when they gave out the land, they gave it out to the, the family, and uh, each family had access to the St. Lawrence River, and the same system was developed through the rest of eastern Canada. So everybody had access to the river. Then, man died, they divided that up into the sons. So if he had two or three sons, then the land was uh, stripped into narrower sections and so forth and so forth. And you end up with these small, narrow sections of land. However, out west, it was totally different. They uh, the land was uh, well, out there. The farmers or the people that got the land was all the railroad, and what the railroad did to get settlers out there to help uh, the economy of the railroad, <coughs> they gave out quarters, which was one square mile divided into four equal square sections <coughs> and each one of those was called a quarter section thus four of them which is a sizable piece of property which is 640 acres uh, and be one square mile Over time, that land usually didn't get uh, subdivided down into smaller stuff because um, it wasn't necessary. There was more land than what they needed for people. <clears throat> so now we can look for sticks, and I've seen some sticks, and we'll just go and stuff just before this and we'll get them. Any of these ones way down here I'll just leave. I want to get the stuff closest to the road so I don't have to freak around to trying to get into the woods and uh, uh, just quicker. I want to maintain the road Uh, 
well, let's uh, let's get that one for starters. I'll just leave it running.
one gun. Go a little further, and we're gonna get another one, another couple. Whee. Suppose that one was good, but here's one coming onto the road here. I know. Let's get that one.
thanks for being patient. Alright. Oh, rain's starting. Seat belt. I gotta pick up that rake in the chair too. Because it won't be long. Not this week. We're supposed to be getting 12 degrees here next week. It's supposed to be 9 today, but I don't know where they get that. It's, it was warmer up at the top of the hill than it is down in here. Right here. Is 672 feet. So it's 130 feet lower than the house. So we should have everything done now. There's one that could get cut too, but I think Ventrack should sponsor me. Give me their uh bush and mowing stuff and the little the power bucket then I could really pretty up the property and sort out the dogs area there so get a some come in with a make me a uh, another gate down below the hill I mow this road here about once a month in the summer, maybe a little more than that. Get my son out here with a spacing saw to give me a hand someday. All we need is the sides cut back a bit so that we can get the Jeep and other vehicles in here without getting scratched up. But uh, every couple of years, I'm going to have to hire somebody to do this for me. Beautiful. No chickens this morning or noon now. Yep, ice is forming up on all the little areas here. And if I can get by just a little longer, and hopefully we don't get too much rain. Well, I want rain and I don't want rain. We need to make sure that the wells are full. up because all the water runs off into the to the rivers and then causes the problems but uh, 
We'll just grab that old rake. I can use it from the for the fire. And a chair that uh, I'm not going to use now. And we're at 703 feet here. Now. Watch the damn beaver will come back. Oh. Now that I don't have a chair down here. Seat belt. Ooh, that tree's gonna come down. That tree will be cut in the spring when we come down here, I bet. A big birch. Leaning over the top of the road. And it's big enough I can get some firewood off it. I suspect right here, because the bank's not dug away, that when the previous owner uh, built up this road here, took the road, a lot of the material that he needed right from the sides of the road here. But see here on the right, I'd like to get that pushed back a bit. I need the pole saw so that I can trim some of those branches up there. I want to get it wide enough so that I can use the, when I come down here for making videos and driving, I can, uh, don't have to drive on the tracks. I can uh, use the Jeep to keep the grass down so I don't have to come and mow it actually. But Vendrak, if you're listening, you should tell the Green, the green Diamond uh, dealership up in uh, Woodstock that you got a guy that could uh, really show off a lot of videos, like the big hill here, and all the mowing I do. I think that would really spiff up the... Uh, sales. There's not too many people got these uh, Ventrac machines here. And for my little property, we'd be able to uh, really utilize that.
Boys up the deck. This sure is steep here. Seven hundred and fifty feet. Yeah. Oops. There they are. Oh, the women. Okay, well, I'll just shut this off and deal with what I got to deal with. But you can see the brush up there. Most of that's in the garbage or in the fire pit now.